Back-to-back -back district losses for the Grayson County Cougars brings us to another rival from the north as they come to school for a chance to take on the Fighting Tigers of Breck County. Breck County enters the record of 7-14. These two teams met to start the new season back in early 2021. But this is a new time. And a good, good evening and welcome here to Tiger Arena on the campus of Breckenridge County High School for tonight's coverage of Grayson County Cougar Basketball on Litchfield's Country Station 1039 The Moose and also via K105 Digital Productions. Sam Bormley with you on the call tonight. Appreciate you taking the time to tune in to tonight's coverage as this is the Locker Room Show. Coming up on the Locker Room Show, we're going to introduce you to both teams. Talk to the head coach of the Cougars, Travis Johnston, to give you tonight's starting on up. That comes up and more right here on Litchfield's Country Station, 1039 The Moose. I'm going to beat cancer. I'm going to beat it. That's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to win this battle. Defeating cancer will take all of us. At the V Foundation, V is for victory over cancer. V is for victory over the odds. V is for victory over giving up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Join our team to help save lives. 100% of donations fund game-changing cancer research. Donate now at V.org. Three. Charlie, you're going to be four. late. Charlie. Charlie. Huh? Hey. Hey, Invisin' Nerd. Slow it works. Oh, we can't live like this. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? I just wanted to say thank you. Bye! Um, can I help you? Yeah, just wanted to say thanks. For what? For all the money that's been flying out of your drafty windows and doors this winter. It's just so generous of you. So, we wanted to say thanks. We? Yeah, the whole neighborhood's here. Thank you! Stop throwing your money out the window. Visit us at Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. We know windows and doors. The builder's choice. The life of every child is precious. If you care for a child or teenager with a disability and have limited income and resources, they may qualify for monthly cash payments through the Supplemental Security Income Program, or SSI. Call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213 or visit ssa.gov slash ssikids to learn more. That's ssa.gov slash ssikids. Message produced by Social Security at U.S. taxpayer expense. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Grayson County and Breckenridge County. We're about, about 20 minutes away from tip-off here from Tiger Arena in Harned, Kentucky. Breckenridge County enters the record of 7-14. and 14. They have lost four games in a row. Muhlenberg County, Meade County, Owensboro, and Ohio County. So three of the top four teams in the region they've lost to over their past four games. So read into the four-game losing streak how you want to. They enter with a record of 7-14. and 14. Their leading scorer is junior forward Hunter Barr. He's averaging 10.5 points and also leading the team at 6.8 rebounds a game. Eamon O'Donoghue is one of their top shooters. 7.8 points and 2.5 rebounds per game, shooting nearly 40% from three-point range. Other players you'll need to know tonight include freshman guard Mercer Rogers. He averages 9.5 points and 2.9 rebounds a game. Jacob Henning down low, 3.6 points and two rebounds a game. Other Lane Tall, the junior guard, averaging 5.6 points and 2.4 rebounds per game. But the last time these two teams played, it was Colton Miller, the junior guard, who had six who had 19 points to lead the Tigers in scoring. He's averaging 6.6 .6 points and two rebounds per game. The Fighting Tigers are coached by Jeff LaGrange. He's in his first season here at the helm of the Tiger program. Grayson County had another heartbreaker last night. We'll introduce you to them coming up as this is Grayson County Cougar Basketball on the Moose. When caring for a family member, their state of health is continually on your mind. And when they're faced with a health concern, you'll do just about anything to make them feel better. Rest assured, their feel better starts right here at Midway Pharmacy. We take our time to get to know all about your family's health history so we can provide you with educated advice. So when someone's counting on you to help them maintain a healthy lifestyle or to overcome that untimely sickness, remember... Your feel better starts here. 
at Midway Pharmacy. Hey, boss. Okay. I said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Yeah. When someone says you need a bone marrow transplant, those are just not words you want to hear. I got a call that it was the best match. It was one of the best days of my life. I'm so happy that you're okay. I just want to say thank you for the second chance at life. Thousands of patients need a donor like you. Learn how you can help at bethematch.org. Uncle Sam? You just turned 18, right? It's time to register at sss.gov. Excuse me? It only takes a minute, and it makes you eligible for student aid and millions of federal jobs. Plus, well, it's every man's responsibility. What do you say? OK, I'll do it. <laughs> Here's my quill. Um, I'll just use my phone. Oh. SSS.gov, right? No. Be the man. Register with the Selective Service System today at sss.gov. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Grayson County Cougars into the record of 10 and 12. They are on a two-game losing streak after consecutive losses to Butler County and Edmondson County in their last two games out. Grayson County in 12 of their 22 games and seven of their last eight have had games decided by single digits and eight of those 12 games have been decided by three points or less. That has been the story for Grayson County and a lot of those games, it's been free throws and missed free throws that have cost them down the stretch and last night was absolutely no difference as they again struggled hitting free throws and lost to Edmondson County by a final score of 49 to 44. Keegan Sharp led the way with 14 points in that game. River Blanton had 11 points and six rebounds for Grayson County. The positive news to bring you right now is some milestone watch that we are on. Hunter Toms entered today's game four rebounds away from 500 for his career. And Keegan Sharp, 14 threes away from the school record of 199 career threes that is held by his head coach, Travis Johnston. Speaking of Travis Johnston, we'll talk to him and get his thoughts on the matchup next. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. It's constant, continuous, and contagious. Invigorating, inspiring, unrelenting, undeniable. At the National Park Foundation, we call this feeling wonder. And the only thing more unstoppable is our mission to help it thrive. We the people are guaranteed five freedoms in the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Freedom of the press. Freedom to peaceably assemble. Freedom to petition the government. Only the United States has these five freedoms so simply bound together and guaranteed. Think first. Learn more at thinkfirstamendment.org. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back to the Locker Room Show here on Litchfield's Country Station, 103.9 The Moose. Sam Borley now joined by the head coach of the Grayson County Cougars, head coach Travis Johnston. Coach, it's been almost 24 hours since the Edmondson County game. Now that you've had that time to kind of stew it over, do you feel better or do you feel worse about that performance? I feel a little worse. Uh, you, you know, we, we had such a good day of practice on, on Sunday, and and the thing is, is normally we're, we're defensive-minded, and, and other than giving up layups, I thought our defense was pretty good. And uh, but Sunday we we worked on offense for probably an hour and a half and looked really good, looked really crisp. We were moving it, and 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 then it all just went away as soon as tip off started. And uh, we got to get our guys to make sure they understand that uh, everything we do in practice has to carry over. We don't have a very good carryover right now. Your last five losses, take Bowling Green out, have been by an average of 2.8 points. 
as a coach, we talked about this last night of single digits. Does that make you feel better in saying that you're close, or does that make it more frustrating? It makes me feel better where our defense is at because if, if you limit turnovers, you defend and you rebound, you're going to be in every game. Um, I would say other than Pulaski and maybe a little bit of Bowling Green, uh, and there may be one. Um, LaRue, we got beat by 19, but it was it was a six-point game. Ohio County was sort of similar. Um, but we haven't been blown out this year because – large in part because of our defense and rebounding and uh, so that makes you feel good but on the flip side you're kind of beating your head against the wall trying to figure out how to put the ball in the hole. Uh, In my eyes though we talked about this over the last two weeks your defense has made improvements Uh, there was the stretch there before that Whitesville game where it was really struggling and you were really not happy with it how has it improved and what has been the difference? Uh, We tinkered with some stuff as far as not getting out in the passing lane as much um getting in more of the gaps and cutting off drives because that's what was hurting us was was drives and we try to reach instead of step in front and uh we've kind of backed off a little bit and moved over to keep make them kick it out uh and you know last night they had 44 points in 31 minutes until the last minute and um uh, i would say out of those 44 points i bet at least half of them at minimum were layups off of our press and we hadn't used that press in a while it was effective for us for a little bit, but obviously it didn't work out. Um, but as far as our half-court defense goes, it's, it's been really good lately. And, um, you know, we're close. We're there. We, we, we put together an offensive game with our defensive game. We're going to look really, really good. I'm just I'm, – I'm hoping that's sooner rather than later. Hunter Thompson tonight enters four rebounds away by my count from the 500 rebound mark. How big of an accomplishment is that? Pretty big. You know, um, what, I think he averaged probably six last year and six and a half this year. And, uh, you know, as a freshman, he wasn't even on the varsity team the first three games. And I actually, we were playing at Fairdale, and I looked over and I said, why is he not on the varsity team? And, of course, sis just kind of looked and said, I don't know. I thought you were supposed to put him on there. So, and the very next game he was on there, and two games later he started and, and went on and started every game since then for us. So, um, he's going to be somebody that you don't, Realize it until he's gone that he's going to be sorely missed just because how big of a physical presence he is in the paint. You played this Breckenridge County team, what feels like about 25 years ago, the first game of the season back on the 30th of November. How have they changed since that point? Um, they they're really young, and you know they have senior night tonight, and I think it's just one senior. Um, a lot of those guys hadn't had varsity experience. They had a couple that were hurt or or sick, or I think the first game that play a little bit out here now and. Uh, they got a lot of different guys they can interchange and and several guys that can shoot not not really a drop dead shooter but several guys that can shoot and um, and they're really well coached uh, Jeff does a really really good job with them and um, he has them playing defense and we're going to go up against another solid sagging half court man to man defense and hopefully we can figure out how to score against it how do you bounce back we got we got to run a little bit more I think and 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 we have to play together more I think I think too much lately especially at the end of the games it's kind of here you go you take it Keegan here you go you take it River and um, that's starting too early in games starting second half things like that so we got to play a little bit more together and and root each other on and 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 have a little bit of fun when things are going our way things went our way for a little bit there last night and it just kind of seemed like we we got up by I think five and still seemed like we've look like we were down 10 so they got to enjoy it whenever they're making some runs like that too coach good luck well more you're coming up in the locker room show after this get it slip it cuff it check it. talk to doctor now and share it get it slip it cuff it check it high blood pressure silently affects millions of americans Staying on top of your blood pressure is as simple as these four easy steps. Self-monitoring is power. Visit manageyourbp.org to learn more. Junior Achievement is where dreams take flight. We are helping students connect what they learn in school to future work and career success. We are teaching them how to manage money to achieve financial security as adults And we are showing them that starting a business also means changing lives and communities. However, 
We can't do it alone. Find out how you can help. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Remember the best planned 90 minutes of your life? Or that surprise party for your parents' golden anniversary? You get the golden planning. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. LS403246. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back here to Tiger Arena on the campus of Breckenridge County High School where the Grayson County Cougars are preparing to take on the Breckenridge County Fighting Tigers. Now let's meet the starting lineups for both teams. First for the 7-14 and 14 Breckenridge County Tigers. Senior guard number four, Isaiah Hart, is averaging four points and 2.0 rebounds per game. Freshman guard Mercer Rogers averages 9.5 points and 2.9 rebounds a game. Junior guard Eamon O'Donohue averages 7.8 points and 2.5 rebounds a game. Lane Tall averages 5.6 points and 2.4 rebounds a game. And Shelton Smith averages 1.5 points and 2 rebounds per game. Once more, that starting lineup is Hart, Rogers, O'Donohue, Tall, and Smith. The assistant coaches are Brad Carby, Cody Hughes, and Kyle Nixon. And the head coach in his first season with a record of 7-14, 36-106 oh, overall is Jeff LaGrange. Now the starting lineup for the Grayson County Cougars, who enter with a record of 10-12. and 12. Keegan Sharp is a senior guard, averaging 11.3 points and 1.6 rebounds per game. Junior guard number three, Brayden Childress, averages 3.1 uh, points and 2 rebounds per game. Senior guard number 15, Chandler McCready, averages 6.4 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. Junior guard number 23, River Blanton, averages 14.8 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds per game. And junior forward number 32, Hunter Toms, averages 8, 8 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds per game. Once more, that's Toms, Blanton, McCready, Childress, and Sharp. Assistant coach Brian Hill, Brett Johnson, Daryl Meredith, and Mike McClintock. And the head coach is Travis Johnston. The play-by-play -play is next on 1039 The Moose. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Until every case is filed, argued, and won. Until people come before profit. Until the wild is truly free. Until our power comes clean and all power is held accountable. As a national legal nonprofit, no one fights more cases for the environment than Earth Justice. Until justice stands for all, we will never rest. Here it is. Look how cheap it is. Be careful what you buy online. Counterfeit products are illegal and can cause damage to you, your property, and your wallet. It looks real, but I don't have a good feeling about this. No, no, get out! Go, get out! Go. Fakes cause real harm. Real products are tested for safety. Protect yourself. You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Go for real. Go for real. How is my little birdie kin's feeling? Well, I feel okay. Uh, my wing hurts a little bit, but that's okay. I made the decision to get Big Bird vaccinated because COVID vaccines are the best way to keep yourself, our friends and neighbors, and me safe and healthy. And it'll help me keep playing with my granny bird and all my friends at school. Yeah. It's okay to have questions about COVID vaccines for your kids. Get the latest facts by speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. Connection. It's the name of the game in Grayson County Schools. Connection with students, with colleagues, with community, through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connections that teach, that encourage, that build confidence, that show together we can. Preparing students for life equipped with real and real world skills for success. Together we are GC Connected.
welcome here to Harned, Kentucky in Breckenridge County High School for tonight's coverage of the Grayson County Cougars and the Breckenridge County Fighting Tigers. Sam Gormley with you on the call. We appreciate you taking the time to tune in to tonight's broadcast. Grayson County and Breckenridge County, the Cougars at 10 and 12, the Tigers at 7 and 14. The play-by-play -play comes up next right here on the Moose. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease but it is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. Hi, I'm Janine Lucas with Wilson Muir Bank. Our focus is on building communities, and in many of our markets, agriculture is at heart of those communities. We are proud to partner with local farmers and value your role in Kentucky and globally. Our commitment runs deep because we understand your passion for farming. Many of us are farmers ourselves. Whether farming is your pastime or your livelihood, invite us to your operation or stop by our offices and let us know how Wilson Muir Bank can help you grow. Together, we build community. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS, or it's time for basketball in Hornet. The Grayson County lineup is Isaiah Mercer Rogers, Eamon O'Donoghue, Lane Tall, Shelton Smith. Grayson County going the starting lineup: Keegan Sharp, Braden Childress, Chandler McCready, River Blainson, and Hunter Toms. It'll be Toms to jump this one up against Shelton Smith, and the opening tip is won by the Grayson County Cougars. They'll work from left to right on your radio dial, wearing the Road blue, navy blue jerseys with the white numerals and the white and orange stripe up each side. Breckenridge County will be in the home white jerseys with the maroon numerals. Braden Childress has the ball at the top of the key. Grayson County looking to bounce back from consecutive losses to Butler County on Saturday and, and Edmondson County yesterday. Out front to Sharp on the right wing. Sharp drives down, pulls up inside the free throw line. The floater, the bank is not open. And the long rebound is chased down by, by Hart for Edmondson County. Hart looks to push, gives it over to the right wing to Rogers. Mercer Rogers gonna back things up now and set up the offense for the Fighting Tigers. And now the interior pass is knocked away, stolen away by Blanton, throwing up in the air goes Rogers as he ran down and ends up coming back down with the ball. Rogers kicks it into the far corner to O'Donohue. O'Donohue crosses it to Tall on the left wing. Tall guarded by Blanton, interior pass knocked away by Blanton into the hands of Childress. Childress will weave through, angles back towards the middle, now speeds up down the right lane with a pass back to McCready in the quarter. McCready out front now to Toms, and Toms will hand it back now to the junior point guard, Braden Childress. Left wing sharp, out front to Toms. Toms interior down to the right block to Blanton. It goes back towards the far side. Blanton floater puts the Cougars on the board. River Blanton's the Cougars' leading score at 14.8 points per game. He had 26, a career high the last time. These two teams met up in Litchfield to start the 2021 season and losing the ball out of bounds, but it was said that it was off of the hand of Chandler McCready, said the official Sean Williams. Our other officials for tonight's game include Trevino Kelly and Warren Frazier. Six minutes, 23 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Grayson County leads Breckenridge County two to nothing. These two teams have played 48 times since 1998. It's Lane Tall with the right hand inside the lane. The shot is no good. Childress gets the rebound. He'll look to push. Childress angles back towards the middle with a pass to Blanton. Blanton drives near baseline, gets up. Flip, flip shot is no good. And the long rebound is chased down by Childress out front. Childress with the right hand, drives into the corner, gets around a defender, loops it off to Toms. Toms down the right side, layup good. Count the basket. And Toms will go to the free throw line after being fouled on the play. The foul is whistled on Shelton Smith, his first and the team's first. Toms will go to the line where he is a 54% free throw shooter. And as we have mentioned, if you've watched any Cougar game all season long, you know we've mentioned that free throws have been a struggle for Grayson County. There's no other way to put it. They only shoot 54% as a team. And Toms makes the first one. And Travis Johnston puts both hands up in the air as to say, thank goodness. We actually made a free throw. Grayson leads five to nothing. Five minutes and 50 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rogers crosses the timeline with a pass into the corner to, uh, that is to Hart. Hart drives near baseline, dumps it off to Smith who drives down the right side and is, walks and takes an extra step. And Grayson County is gonna get the basketball back. They lead five to nothing. Five minutes and 40 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Travis Johnson pulls out the small note card that it is in back left pocket. 
And he's calling out the offense that he wants for his team. They're going to go a five-out look for Grayson. Give it to Keegan Sharp, who drives down the right side. Flip shot, right side, in for Sharp. And Grayson County is a great start here. They lead 7 to nothing. Five minutes and 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. O'Donohue passes into the corner to Tall. Tall immediately picked up. Cooters going zone, and the pass out front stolen by Blanton. Fast break, Blanton lays it in, and good. The layup in transition for River Blanton. A timeout is going to be taken on the floor by Jeff LaGrange. The Cougs are rolling early on. 5.08 left here in the first quarter. This is Cougar basketball on 103.9 The Moose. I want to beat cancer. I'm going to beat it. That's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to win this battle. Defeating cancer will take all of us. At the V Foundation, V is for victory over cancer. V is for victory over the odds. V is for victory over giving up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Join our team to help save lives. 100% of donations fund game-changing cancer research. Donate now at v.org. The Grayson County Cougars needed a great start in this game, and they got just that. With 5.08 left here in the first quarter, Grayson County leads Breckenridge County 9-0 on the road, forcing the early timeout by Breckenridge County head coach Jeff LaGrange. LaGrange's in his first season at the helm of the Fighting Tiger program. He's 7-14 this season. He previously had two different stints as the head coach of Cloverport High School from 2005 to 2007 and from 2015 to 2017. LaGrange is a 2001 graduate of Breckenridge County High School. Out of the timeout, it will be Fighting Tiger Bowl. It's been the defense that's led to offense for Grayson County, and they stick with this full court pressure. It's a little bit of a 1-3-1 zone defense. Trapped in the backcourt is Rogers, gives it to Tall in the middle, and Tall is fouled by Keegan Sharp. Sharp almost got the steal on that, but there was just enough of the contact on the back. The official is going to call that one every time. 9-0 Cougs on top, five minutes left here in quarter number one from Tiger Arena in Harned, Kentucky. Cougars now going to shift back into a man-to-man half-court defense. The eighth grader Rogers passes to the left wing to O'Donohue. O'Donohue back out front. O'Donohue drives down to the right side, picks up his dribble, tries to angle it back towards the baseline. Instead, has to get it to Tall. Tall jump pass out front to Hart. Hart drives in, floater down the right side. The shot is no good, but he's fouled by Grayson County. The whistle this one on Chandler McCready. For McCready, that is his first and the team's second to the free throw line will be Isaiah Hart. Hart is a 68.2% free throw shooter. He'll have two free throws coming here, and the first one is good. Hart is the lone senior on this Breckenridge County team as they honored him before the game here on senior nights, along with the Fighting Tiger marching band. Second free throw coming for the senior. Hart is up, and he makes them both. 9-2, Grayson County leads Breckenridge County. Five minutes and 38 seconds left here in quarter number one. Out front, Childress, and off pass to McCready. McCready straight away, thought about driving, now backs it off, and he's going to tap his head with his left hand to set up the offense. Picks up his dribble to the right wing to Toms. Toms inside to Blanton at the right elbow. Blanton drives down towards the far side, goes up, and is fouled. As he tried a little floater on the left side, but contact was made as he went on the way up, and he lost the ball. The contact's going to be called on Shelton Smith, his second and the team's second. It'll be Blanton to the free throw line. Blanton is a 52.7% free throw shooter, and as we mentioned just a few minutes ago, free throws have been the issue for Grayson County as a team, 54%. And the first free throw is no good by Blanton. Of the six leading returners from last season for Grayson County, five of those players' percentage point has dropped by 10 percentage points or more from last year. As Blanton makes the second free throw. Only Dylan Horns has risen, his has gone up from 46% last season to 56% this year. It's been a struggle, no other way to put it for Grayson County. They lead 10 to two, and out front with the ball is Isaiah Hart. Hart jump pass into the far corner to Rogers. Rogers picked up by Blanton. Cougars going a man-to-man -man defense. Inside pass to Smith. Smith out front to Rogers. Rogers lets a right wing three go. It is off the back of the iron into the hands of Braden Childress for Grayson. An outlet pass to the left side to Blanton. Blanton drives it in the left lane, absorbs the contact. Shot is no good off to the left. But Blanton will go back to the free throw line. This time the foul's whistled on Mercer Rogers, his first, team's third. 
Travis Johnston going to go to the bench now at this point. After two free throws will come for River Blainson. Blainson's got five early points. He had a really good third quarter where he had eight third quarter points yesterday against Edmondson County. But again, when these two teams met back last month, it was Blanton who had a career-high 26 points. He gets the shooter's roll on that first free throw. Substitutions into the game for Grayson County. You'll have Dylan Horn. He checks in. He's averaging 3.4 points and four rebounds per game. And the seventh grader, Jack Logson, comes in, averaging three points and two and a half rebounds a contest. Dylan Horn left yesterday's game with an injury. He did re re return in that game. Langton makes the second free throw. It is 12-2, Grayson County, 350 left in the first quarter. Cougars going zone pressure again. Dylan Horn is the top of the pressure. In the backcourt, Hart breaks the timeline with Pastor Rogers, gets around, Longston dumps it off to the right side to Paul, who lays it in at the rim on the right side. Really nice press break offense by Breckenridge County and an even better pass by Mercer Rogers to find Tall open on the right block. And Tall made him pay. Blanton drives down the left side, gets to the hole, flip shot is in and out. And a rebound on the floor is taken by Carmen. And Horn is called for a foul on the rebound for Horn. That is his first and the team's third. 12 to 4, Breckenridge County trails Grayson County. Three minutes and 21 seconds left here in the first quarter. Substitution into the game for Breckenridge County is going to be Jonah Miller. Miller is the eighth grader, averaging 3.7 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. Jump pass into the middle to Miller. Miller crosses it over to the far corner to Colton Miller. So you got Jonah Miller and Colton Miller on the floor. On the right block, it is outside to Tall. Three up. It's an air ball into the hands of Horn for Grayson. Horn looks to push, gives it into the middle to Logston. Logston at the left wing, gives it deep now to Keegan Sharp, who's going to back things off and try and set up the offense. Pass to Logston. Three straight away. He's fouled from behind, and three free throws will come for Jack Longston. Foul called on Colton Miller, his first and the team's fourth. And I believe they are saying three free throws coming for Jack Longston. It is three, says the official Lauren Frazier. It was close to his foot being on the line. Longston, 70.6%. The seventh grader will shoot three. The first one is good. Longston, one of the better free throw shooters on this team. In fact, he was the only Cougar to not miss a free throw when these two teams met back on November the 30th. Second one good there by the seventh grader. Owen Bratcher will come in for the Cougars, and Hunter Toms will take a seat. But as um, Travis Johnston told us after that game, he said that's the reason he's in the game is he's a very good free throw shooter. Logston makes all three free throws, makes them pay on the foul, and Grayson Gunny leads 15 to four, two minutes. And 53 seconds left here in quarter number one. In the middle, where the ball is, Jonah Miller crosses it out to the right wing to Carmen, who has it stripped and taken away by Bratcher. Outlet pass over to the far side to Blanton. Blanton down the left lane. Euro step goes up with a shot. It's in and out. Bratcher with a rebound. Put back right side. That one's no good. And rebounded on the floor by Jonah Miller. Gives it into the middle to Colton Miller. Colton Miller down to the left block to Rogers. And Bratcher gets a block on the play, and he takes the ball away. Off to Sharp down the near side, and Sharp steps out of bounds as he steps up the near baseline. Travis Johnston wanted a foul on that one. The official disagrees. He's still talking to the official, Lauren Frazier. 2.25 left here in quarter number one. 15 to four, Grayson County on top of Breckenridge County. Cougars have a good start here. It's been the defense that has led to better offense. Colton Miller into the middle to Jonah Miller. Jonah Miller on the left wing, out front to Rogers. Into the far corner, a catch and shoot three for Colton Miller. Clanks off the side of the backboard, and the rebound on the floor is a loose ball, and we're going to have a jump ball that'll send possession and keep it here with Breckenridge County. 2.04 left in quarter number one. Breckenridge County trails Grayson County 15-4. It'll be Miller to pass in, into the corner. Catch and shoot three by Rogers is in for Mercer Rogers. The freshman guard knocks in a three. And we have a timeout on the floor taken by Jeff LaGrange with 157 left in quarter number one. It is Grayson County 15, Breckenridge County seven. It's two first quarter timeouts taken by the first year head coach, Jeff LaGrange. With that, we'll try to see if we can't bring you a quick score or two from around the region. In boys basketball, it is Central Harden on top of Meade County, 33 to 21. That score is at the half. Big one going on 
in London today as it is North Laurel and Pulaski County, two of the top five teams in the state. At the end of the first quarter is North Laurel on top of Pulaski County, 18 to 16. Of course, Grayson County learned very quickly on how good Pulaski County is. It's the Maroons right now 23 and 0. Grayson County played that team back right before Christmas, losing 82 to 46. And remember after that game, I asked Travis Johnston and said, you know, what do you think about Pulaski County? And the only word he could figure out to describe them was, wow. One more score to bring you. Ohio County leads Butler County 17 to 6 at the end of the first quarter. Out of the timeout, Jack Logs does a jump pass to the right wing to Blanton. Inside to Bratcher off the left side, absorbs the contact, basket good. Owen Bratcher making his name into the scorebook early on in this game with a block, a rebound, and now a basket on the other side, and Grayson County up double digits one more time at 17 to seven with 90 seconds left here in quarter number one. Pass down to the right block to Carmen, lays it in. Bratcher's defense was good, Carmen's offense was better. And it's 17-9. Grayson County still has a commanding lead against Breckenridge County. To Bratcher, out front to Horn. Horn swings it over to the left wing to Longston, over into the far corner to Blanton, out front sharp. Looks like a 2-3 zone here for Breckenridge County. They'll shut her off here, Longston in between the circles. To the right elbow to Horn. Horn hands it off to Sharp, right wing three, catch, shoot, in for Keegan Sharp. He's got five in the first quarter. And Grayson County's on top, 20 to nine, with 56 seconds and counting left here in quarter number one. They again set up their full court defense to bounce pass out front to Jonah Miller. Jonah Miller crosses it, stolen by Bratcher. Great defense by Owen Bratcher. He looked like a safety, intercepting the pass. Three in transition for Blankton off the left wing. The bank is not open. The rebound ripped down by Longston. Shot off the left side, good, and he'll go to the free throw line. The seventh grader, Jack Longston, ripped the rebound away from Breckenridge County, and Colton Miller fouls him on the left side. And Longston will go to the free throw line to try and convert on a three-point play. Chandler McCready going to come in for River Blanton. 36.7% left here in the first quarter. Longston to the line to try and convert on the end one. The seventh grader lets it fly. It is good for Jack Longston. 22 to nine, or 23 to nine rather, Grayson County leads. 35 seconds left in quarter number one, and a foul in the backcourts whistled on. Well, now, uh, okay, at first I thought they were going to talk over who the foul was called on, but official Sean Williams comes in and says, I saw it. It was on Logston. Logston, that's his first of the team's fourth. Nolan Hornbeck will come in. Jack Logston will take a seat to a rounding ovation from the Cougar bench. Really nice play there by Jack Logston. Six first quarter points. 32 seconds left here in quarter number one. It is 23 to 9, Grayson County. Left wing, Colton Miller. Out front to Brockman, who's in the game. Brockman's only appeared in six games this season, only scored four points. A shot from 18 feet straight away is in and out by Hardesty, who's also into the game. And Grayson County did come down with a basketball. Out front, Childress with 11 seconds and counting left in quarter number one. Childress guarded by Hardesty. Man-to-man -man defense for Breckenridge County with five seconds, getting a screen. Childress looks to get it out front to Horn. Three straight away. It is way off to the right. That's Dylan Horn's first ever attempted three, and he misses it off to the right. But at the, the end of quarter number one, it is Grayson County 23, Breckenridge County 9. This is Cougar basketball on the loose. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease but it is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. Hi, I'm Janine Lucas with Wilson Muir Bank. Our focus is on building communities, and in many of our markets, agriculture is at heart of those communities. We are proud to partner with local farmers and value your role in Kentucky and globally. Our commitment runs deep because we understand your passion for farming. Many of us are farmers ourselves. Whether farming is your pastime or your livelihood, invite us to your operation or stop by our offices and let us know how Wilson Muir Bank can help you grow. Together, we build community. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS, or 
Grayson County matches their season high in points scored in the first quarter with 23. And they lead Breckenridge County 23 to 9 as we get ready to start quarter number two. In that quarter, it was a, a host of players. Jack Longston came away with six. River Blanson came away with seven. Keegan Sharp added five for Grayson County. They're also going to get the ball to start quarter number two, 23-9. Cougs on top of the Fighting Tigers, one of the best first quarters that we've seen in quite some time for this Grayson County team. Downhill drive on the right side, McCrady. He tried to get an exterior pass back, back out front to Blanton. It's knocked out of bounds, though, by Hardesty. The freshman guard got just enough of a hand on that one. McCready, bounce pass into the right wing to Blanton, who drives down the right side, goes up, and nice defense inside, and a jump ball. And the call for Trevino Kelly inside, and honestly, that's a good call. It's really, really good defense on the inside by Mercer Rogers. He reached up there, and he grabbed the ball and met Blanton at the rim, and it's a good call by the official Kelly. Seven minutes and 43 seconds left here in the first half. Cougs on top, 23-9 against Breckenridge County. They get a steal. It is Braden Childress. Childress outlet pass, and it's not a good one, but McCready runs it back down, spins in the lane, and the shot's good for McCready. He recovers from not a great pass from Childress. And Grayson County leads Breckenridge County 25-9, 7.22 to play at the right elbow. Tall drives down the right lane. Nice defense by Bratcher, and the rebound's tapped out into the hands of him. Up the near side comes McCready, and he's shoved into the bench and into the arms of Breckenridge County head coach Jeff LaGrange. Now called on Hardesty, his first. Teams six of the first half. Blanton to pass in for the Cougars. Into the backcourt to Braden Childress. Childress going to set up the offense for Grayson County. The offense has been rolling. The first quarter was their, tied for their best of the entire season. Childress drives in, right-handed floater from seven feet. Good. Down the right side, Braden Childress decides to put his name into the scorebook as well. And Grayson County's up by 18 points in this game. Into the backcourt, Rogers passes into the middle to Tall. Tall swings it over to the far side to Hardesty. And Hardesty wasn't ready for the pass. It goes into the first row of the fans on the far side. Into the game for Breckenridge County is going to be Shelton Smith. And also Isaiah Hart will re-enter the game. Cougars trying to add to their 18-point lead at 27 to 9. Childress into the corner to McCready. Tigers go zone defense now. They've been shifting between man and zone. Traditionally, they do play man defense, and Hornbeck tries to pass to the right side. The ball is kicked. Possession's going to stay with Grayson County. Hunter Toms will re-enter this game for Grayson. As Toms enters this game four rebounds away for 500 for his career. Owen Bradshaw came out for Toms. Owen Bradshaw played very well during that little spurt. 6.25 left in quarter number one. Swings it over to the far side. Childress out front to Blanton. Blanton back to the left wing to Childress. Ball fake. Childress drives in. 18-foot jump shot. Left side. Nothing but net for Braden Childress. And Grayson County's up by 20 points against Breckenridge County. 29-9. 6.07 left here in the first half. Mercer Rogers jump pass into the near side to O'Donohue. Cougars going with a swarm defense to the free throw line. Dumps it off to the left side and kicking it over to the right wing. Three up and in for Colton Miller. Miller, 38.3% from three this season. And he knocks in the open three there off the zone defense. 29-12, Grayson County. Still on top. Out front, Tom swings it into the near corner to McCready. McCready bounce pass to the right block to Blanton. Gets around the defender. Reverse layup too much. Rebound goes into the hands of Smith for Breckenridge County. They give it off to Miller. Miller crosses the timeline with a pass into the corner by Hart. The three is left short. Rebounded by Blanton for Grayson. Blanton will look to push. Crosses the timeline across the near side. No look pass into the corner. Catch and shoot three. McCready clanks off the back of the iron. Rebound on the floor. Ripped down by Smith. Smith over to the far side to O'Donohue. O'Donohue angles back towards the middle. Off to the left wing. Three up. Rodgers in. The freshman hits his second three of the game. Travis Johnson unhappy with the transition defense. 
And just like that, Breckenridge County's brought it to within 14, and Travis Johnston wants a 30-second timeout. 4.56 left in, qu in quarter number two. It is Grayson 29, Breck 15. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Hi, can I help you? I just wanted to say thank you. Bye. Um, can I help you? Yeah, just wanted to say thanks. For what? For all the money that's been flying out of your drafty windows and doors this winter. It's just so generous of you. So, we wanted to say thanks. We? Yeah, the whole neighborhood's here. Thank you. Stop throwing your money out the window. Visit us at Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. We know windows and doors. The builder's choice. Back-to-back -back threes forces a quick 30-second timeout by Grayson County head coach Travis Johnston. Grayson County still leads Breckenridge County 29-15 with four minutes and 56 seconds left here in the first half. As Travis Johnston puts Dylan Horn back into the game, and out of the timeout on the floor, you'll have Childress, Sharp, Toms, Horn, and Blanton going back here to what has been their starting lineup for the past couple of games. Free throw line, Horn kicks it over to the left wing to Childress. Childress to the free throw line, Blainton. Blainton back to the left wing, Childress. Childress takes one dribble back to the free throw line to Blainton. Blainton gives it back to Childress. They're playing hot potato, giving it back inside. Childress drives in. The shot clanks off the back of the iron. A rebound on the floor. Is it going to be a tie-up as both Horn and a player for Breckenridge County were going after it. And the tie-up is going to keep possession with the Cougars underneath of their own basket. 4.32 left here. In the first half, Grayson on top of Breckenridge, 29-15. Childress has got to get it in. Scans once, scans twice, and tries to get it to the left side, and it's tapped into the backcourt by Breckenridge County. Run down by Sharp. To the right wing, Blanton. Blanton being guarded one-on-one. -on -one. To the right side, Tom spins down the right lane. Splits defenders, layup good for Toms. Hunter Toms has five points, and Grayson County extends their lead back to 16 points at 31-15, 4-10 to play in the first half. Right side, Hart. Out front to Rogers. Rogers drives in, kicks it into the near corner. Miller, three up, and it is no good off to the back of the iron. Rebound chased down, though, by Hart. Hart out front to Rogers. Thought about the three straight away, but Childress got a hand in his face almost immediately. Had to give it to the senior Hart. Again, Isaiah Hart celebrating his senior night tonight. He's the lone senior on this Breckenridge County team. Out front, Rogers gets around. Childress drives down, absorbs the contact. Shot no good. But he's bumped and fouled on the interior by Grayson County's Keegan Sharp. For Sharp, that's his second. And the team's fifth. 3.44 left here in quarter in half number one. Into the free throw line is going to be Mercer Rogers. First one up and in for the freshman. Rogers 62.5%. He's one of only two players this Breckenridge County team to play in every game. The other being Eamon O'Donohue. Second free throw comes, it is up, and it is good. Nothing but nets for Rodgers. Brings the game back to 14 points. 31-17, Grayson leads Breckenridge. 3.38 left here in the first half. Right wing belongs in the seventh grader re-enters the game for Keegan Sharp, who picked up that second foul. Free throw line, Blanton. Back outside now to Childress, who's going to back things up and set up the offense for Grayson. Into the corner, Horn. Horn looked to get it inside, instead gives it to Logston out front. Logston back to Horn on the near side, dumps it off to Blankton, 18-foot catch-and-shoot jump shot on the right side is long. And the rebound chased down by Rogers. outlet pass down to the right side, and in transition, the basket is good for Isaiah Hart. Hart broke through the defense and was wide open and had an easy layup. Just like that, it's a 12-point game, 31-19. Far side, Toms, three up and good to answer for Toms on the far side. Hunter Toms up to eight points. And that's a big time answer for Grayson County. Hart on the right wing, fires one down to the right side to Smith. Smith has it poked away from behind and the loose ball run down by Horn. Horn an outlet pass to Logston who was going to work one on four and now loses the ball and it's taken away by Miller. Miller down the left side, blocked by Blanton out of bounds. Great defense by River Blanton. On the inside, Hunter Toms runs up to him and just gives him a high five, saying he loves what he sees there from the junior River Blanton. 2.35 left in the first half. It is 34-19. Grayson County leads Breckenridge County. Into the near corner, O'Donohue picked up by Childress. Kicks it over to the far corner. A catch and shoot three by Hart is off the back of the iron. High off the glass goes Blanton to grab the rebound. 
Blanton crosses the timeline to the right wing. Childress into the corner. Logs in three up and off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound on the floor by Toms. On the right side. Layup good for Hunter Toms. Toms moves into double figures and he's now three rebounds away from 500 for his career. Flip shot on the other side is no good by Hart. Logston gets a rebound. And at first I thought I heard a whistle saying there was a foul, but they allow Logston to start dribbling the ball up the court. Seventh grade point guard gives it to the right wing. Toms another catch and shoot right wing three. It's off the front of the iron. Rebound goes into the hands of Colton Miller, who almost had it poked away from behind. He gains the ball back after it rolled nearly out of bounds. Miller drives near baseline, dumps it off inside and taken away by Horn. Horn gives it to Blainson on the far side. Blainson an outlet pass to the right side to Childress. Right side layup good for Braden Childress. Great pass by River Blainson. And with 90 seconds left here in the first half, Grayson County has doubled up Breckenridge County at 38 to 19. O'Donohue straight away. Tom's had a hand in his face to Rogers. Rogers drives down the right side, dumps it off to the left side. Smith, shot good. Great pass by Mercer Rogers, and Shelton Smith gets his first basket of the game on the layup on the left block. That stops the bleeding for Breckenridge County. Back and forth, these two teams go with runs in this second quarter, but Grayson still leads 38-21 at the free throw line. Blainton dumps it off to the left side. Horn misses the layup, and the rebound is knocked out of bounds by Breckenridge County underneath. Subs galore on both sides. McCrady, Hornback, Bratcher in for Grayson County. Toll, Hardesty, and Carmen in for Breckenridge County. 59.4 on the clock here in the first half. 38-21, Cougs on top of Breckenridge County. Out to the right wing, Hornbeck. Hornbeck looked to get it a bounce pass down to the right block to Blainton. Blainton tried to get it off to a cutting Bratcher, and now the loose ball is run down back by Carmen, and Carmen's fouled by Blainton. That was one of those that Carmen was losing his balance, and Blainton made ever so slight of contact that caused the fall to look more dramatic than it actually was. Definitely a foul. And for Blainson, it is his first, team's number six. 45 left here in the first half. Grayson County leads 38 to 21. Bounce pass to the right wing to Hardesty, guarded by Bradshaw. A major mismatch there size-wise. Hardesty only stands at five foot eight. A three straight away is off the back of the iron. Rebound on the floor is a loose ball. And two players run down and give each other a bear hug between Lane Tall and Owen Bradshaw. And the officials underneath will whistle a jump ball and possession is going to stay with the Fighting Tigers. 28.9 on the clock here in the first half. 38-21. Grayson County leads. River Blanton going to take a seat. Hunter Toms is going to check in for him. Into the far corner to Rogers. Rogers, three, right side, and it is in and out. Rebounded by Tall underneath. Tall gives it to O'Donohue on the left side who had to control the dribble inside to Tall. Tall drives in, kicks it out front. Now to Rogers. Rogers to the left wing to Hardesty. Hardesty into the corner to O'Donohue. O'Donohue does a jab step and gives it out front to Hardesty. Hardesty inside the free throw line to Tall. Tall on McCrady, spins it around. The bank shot is not open and rebounded on the floor by Logston. Logston with three seconds. Logston drives in and a foul is called on the floor, but that'll turn into one and one. Here coming for Jack Logston. Whistled on Hardesty, his second, team seventh with 2.4 on the clock here in the first half. Jack Longston to the line. He's four of four on free throws in this game. He will shoot the bonus. Free throw up and good for Longston. Darius Tongue comes into the game for Grayson County. Checking out will be Chandler McCready. Logston's second free throw to give the Cougars a 19-point first half lead is good for Jack Logston. We're going to have another sub in. Dylan Horn will come in for Logston. Really nice first half of play for the seventh grader, Jack Logston. 40-21, to 2.4 on the clock here in the first half. Give it into Rogers. Rogers, let's say, shot go from three-quarters court, and it is no good off the backboard. The end of the first half, it is Grayson County leading Breckenridge County 40 to 21. This is Cougar Basketball on 103.9 The Moose. The life of every child is precious. If you care for a child or teenager with a disability and have limited income and resources, they may qualify for monthly cash payments through the Supplemental Security Income Program or SSI. Call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213 or visit ssa.gov slash ssikids to learn more. That's ssa.gov slash ssikids. Message produced by Social Security at U.S. taxpayer expense. 
When caring for a family member, their state of health is continually on your mind. And when they're faced with a health concern, you'll do just about anything to make them feel better. Rest assured, their feel better starts right here at Midway Pharmacy. We take our time to get to know all about your family's health history so we can provide you with educated advice. So when someone's counting on you to help them maintain a healthy lifestyle or to overcome that untimely sickness, remember, at Midway Pharmacy. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back here to Tiger Arena where their dance team has taken the floor and I guess we can definitely say we're feeling the bass right now as they're blaring the music. I hope you can hear me. Right now I feel like I'm almost at the uh, halftime show of the AFC Championship game on CBS where the speakers were right in there and they were trying to talk about the first half of action which was not a good first half of action in the AFC Championship game. The second half was much better because you know Cincinnati Bengals ended up uh, taking it and uh, winning in overtime, and they're getting ready to play in the Super Bowl. As I look over at our director for tonight, Cole Snyder is wearing his Ravens shirt, but as I look over and ask him, I say, you know, I had to ask him before the game, ask him when, you know, when are the Ravens playing this weekend? And I forgot that, sorry, you know, it's the Cincinnati Bengals that are getting ready to play in the Super Bowl. And you know what? The first half for Grayson County has got to make Travis Johnston feel exactly like I did after Joe Burrow led down and Evan McPherson hit the field goal. You gotta feel really good because you just scored 40 first half points and you held Breckenridge County to 21. You're almost up double what the opposing team is. It is a beautiful feeling right now. But the key is, is that you've gotta make sure that you come out here in the third quarter and step on the gas and don't let this team come back because that was a great first half of action and it'll be interesting to see what they could do in half number two. Coming up on our halftime show, we'll run down the scoring from this game. The scores from around the region to get you ready for half number two. Again, your score at the half, it is Grayson County 40, Breckenridge County 21. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Hey, boss. Okay. He said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Yeah. And someone says, you need a bone marrow transplant. Those are just not words you want to hear. I got a call that it was the best match. It was one of the best days of my life. I'm so happy that you're OK. I just want to say thank you for the second chance at life. Thousands of patients need a donor like you. Learn how you can help at bethematch.org. Uncle Sam? You just turned 18, right? It's time to register at sss.gov. Excuse me? It only takes a minute, and it makes you eligible for student aid and millions of federal jobs. Plus, well, it's every man's responsibility. What do you say? OK, I'll do it. <laughs> Here's my quill. Um, I'll just use my phone. sss.gov, right? Yeah. No. Be the man. Register with the Selective Service System today at sss.gov. It's constant, continuous, and contagious. Invigorating, inspiring, unrelenting, undeniable. At the National Park Foundation, we call this feeling wonder. And the only thing more unstoppable is our mission to help it thrive. Paid with funds through the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety. This is Cooper Basketball on K105. Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School where Grayson County leads this one 40 to 21 at the half. Running down the scoring from, or the, the rather the scores from around the region, a final score in girls basketball, Allen County, Allen County, if I can talk right, let's try this one more time. Allen County, Scottsville leads Glasgow 48 to 46. That is a final score actually to bring you. Uh, North Laurel leads Pulaski County 36 to 30 at the half. In Pulaski County is the last unbeaten team left in the state. North Laurel also a top five team led by Kentucky commit Reed Shepard. 
other scores that I can see to bring you from around the region at the half. It is Ohio County on top of Butler County, 35-18. to And in boys basketball at the end of the first quarter, Owensboro leads Bowling Green 24-15. to The score that matters the most, actually I can also bring you this, is a college basketball score. The University of Kentucky leads South Carolina 55-47 to with 11 minutes and 42 seconds left in the second half. If you want to hear that game while we'll, for the last couple of minutes here of halftime, you can flip over to our sister station, K105. The score that matters the most, though, it is the Cougar boys leading Breckenridge County 40-21 to at the half. We'll come back, run down the scoring for the first half after this. This is Cougar Basketball on 103.9 The Moose. We the people are guaranteed five freedoms in the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Freedom of the press. Freedom to peaceably assemble. Freedom to petition the government. Only the United States has these five freedoms so simply bound together and guaranteed. Think first. Learn more at thinkfirstamendment.org. Get it, slip it, cuff it, check it. High blood pressure silently affects millions of Americans. Staying on top of your blood pressure is as simple as these four easy steps. Self-monitoring is power. Visit manageyourbp.org to learn more. Junior achievement is where dreams take flight. We are helping students connect what they learn in school to future work and career success. We are teaching them how to manage money to achieve financial security as adults. And we are showing them that starting a business also means changing lives and communities. However, we can't do it alone. Find out how you can help. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Remember the best planned 90 minutes of your life? Or that surprise party for your parents' golden anniversary? You get the golden planning. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Grayson County just scored their most points in the first half of play. You have to go back to December the 29th when they scored 42 in a 68-66 win against Rock Castle County. They ended up scoring 40 the day before that as well. Cougars were led in the first half of play by Hunter Toms. He finished with 10 points, 8 points for Jack Logston, 7 for River Blanton, 6 for Braden Childress, 5 for Keegan Sharp, 4 and also two for Owen Bratcher and two for Chandler McCready. Can't leave them out either. For Breckenridge County, very quickly, eight for Mercer Rogers, four for Isaiah Hart, three for Colton Miller, and then two apiece for Lane Tall, Shelton Smith, and Braden Carmen. Grayson County leads this one 40 to 21. The second half is next here on 103.9 The Moose. One in four Americans today are living with a disability. I'm one of them. People with disabilities are extremely talented, resilient problem solvers that have so much to offer. And we've got a trusted ally on our side, an organization we can rely on, Easter Seals. Easter Seals is leading the way to full equity, inclusion, and access to healthcare, employment, and education for people with disabilities, families, and communities. That's my Easter Seals. Make it yours. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know, we felt that way too, and that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit nationalguard.com to find out more. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. It is Grayson County 40. It is Breckenridge County 
21. As we get ready to start the second half. It'll be Cougar basketball as we start half number two, Grayson County. Leads Breckenridge County 40 to 21. The Cougars will start second half with the ball and it'll be a deep three in for Keegan Sharp. He got the ball, took two dribbles, and took that one deep from the right wing, and Grayson picks up where they left off in the second half, and now nearly a steal in the backcourt. Mercer Rogers breaks the timeline with a pass off to Hart on the left wing. Hart loses the ball. It's poked away from behind. Loose ball picked up by McCready. McCready, outlet pass down the left side, is taken away by Rogers. Rogers down the near side. He'll pull up from 18 feet on the right side and just clanks off the left side of the rebound. Hart with a rebound for Breckenridge County. Over to the far corner, O'Donohue down to the left block and chasing the baseline and losing the ball out of bounds is Shelton Smith. Grayson County leads 43-21. Didn't even get a chance to give you a quick recap of the first half. Keegan Sharp said, I'm just going to take a right wing three from deep to give Grayson a 43-21 lead at the free throw line. Blainton to the far side, McCready. McCready bounce pass down to Blainton on the right side, spins towards the near side. Blainton le leaves the shot short. And Mercer Rogers comes down with a rebound for Breckenridge County. Rogers thought about pulling up from a straightaway three, gives it to Hart on the left side. Back out front to Rogers. Rogers is going to slow things down. For Breckenridge County, they were paced by Rogers with eight points, including two threes. Lane tall. Down the right lane, tries to pass it to the left lane, and airmailed the pass and sent it into the Breckenridge County cheerleaders down on the far side. And the Cougars will have the basketball back. It is 43-21, Cougs on top, six minutes and 48 seconds to play here in the third quarter. And Grayson County in that first half of play, 10 of 11 from the free throw line. I'm not sure that there'd be any more music to Travis Johnston's ears. McCready drives far baseline, down the right side, misses the layup, gets the ball back, loses it on the floor, gets around the defender and lays it in on the right side. What a play by McCready at the rim. And Grayson County's lead is 45-21 now against Breckenridge County. The Cougars are rolling here in the quarter number three, trying to pick up where they started in the first half, driving in. Hart is fouled down the far side by Grayson County. His heart just said, I'm going to take this one into my own hands. And Hunter Toms came down on top of him. For Toms, it's only his first, the team's first of, of the second half. To the free throw line is going to be Isaiah Hart. The senior and the lone senior is a 68.2% free throw shooter. The first one coming is up, and it is good for Isaiah Hart. Breckenridge County is a team Shoot 62.4%. Second one comes. It is up and rattles out. Blainton comes down with it for Grayson County. 45-22, 6.09 to play in the third quarter. Pass fired over to McCready from 10 foot. The, the fadeaway jumper's no good. Blainton with a rebound. Blainton goes up with a putback. The shot's no good. He takes a hard fall, and it appears that he's okay. And, it was one of those situations where he fell and smacked the ground, and you can never tell whether the fall and the smack the ground is a smack the ground of, dang, I'm hurt, or dang, I missed the shot. Luckily, that was a, I missed the shot. It'll be Blanton to shoot two free throws. First one is up, and it is good for Grayson County. Again, the Cougars have struggled from the free throw line this season, 54%. They are now 11 of 12 for the game. Second one coming for the junior River Blanton. He stares down the rim, lets it fly. It is good for Grayson County. Nine points for River Blanton. 47-22, six minutes to play in the third quarter. Hart passes to O'Donohue in the backcourt. O'Donohue loops the pass up to Rogers on the far side. Rogers fires down the tall flip shot, right side, good. Great ball movement there for Breckenridge County, and Lane Tall makes some ping on the backside, and it's 47-24. Grayson County still leads Breckenridge County. Down the near side goes Blainton, absorbs the contact. Sean on the left side, no good. He gets the rebound. Put back, no good. Rebound on the floor. is lost by Breckenridge County. They get the ball back, and it's off to Tall. Tall gives an outlet pass to Rogers. Rogers breaks the timeline up the near side, passes into the corner to Hart, and Hart gives it back to Rogers after thinking about a deep three, and they're going to back things up and set it up here for Breckenridge County. It is 47-24, Cougs on top, 5-17 left here in quarter number three. Out front to Tall, fakes the pass to the left side. Blanton has his hand in his face. Now he's going to back it up. Thought about getting a pass, and now Will back to Rogers. Keegan Sharp had a hand in the face of the freshman guard, Mercer Rogers. Rogers has it on the right side, lets a three go. It is way off to the left, 
And the long rebound is chased down by Blanton at the half court line. Blanton jump pass is taken away by Hart. And that was really Blanton just had to get the ball away because he was falling out of bounds when he lost the ball. Three deep straight away by Hart is in for Hart. He was left all alone. And Isaiah Hart, about half of his shots come from three. He makes that one. Hart's got eight points. It's back to a 20-point game at 47-27. Free throw line, Blainson. Left wing, McCready. McCready takes one dribble with the right hand, gives it to the free throw line, Toms, who swings it over the far side. Sharp, three, up, far side, good. Keegan Sharp hits his third three of the game. He's now 11 threes away from tying the school record for threes held by his head coach, Travis Johnston. A three to answer on the far side by Tall is no good. Long rebound chased down by Sharp in the far corner. And Sharp's going to slow down and wait for his offense to trot down the court. Sharp at the logo. Right side McCready, inside to Toms. Toms on the right block, gives it back to McCready, out front to Sharp, deep three, heat check up, and it is no good. It touched Emory part of the rim, but the inside, he couldn't get the shooter's roll here at Breckenridge County High School. Down the left side, a bump foul is called on the drive. We whistled on Braden Childress, that'll be his first team second of the second half. Subs into the game for Breckenridge County. You have Colton Miller, and Brayden Carmen for Grayson County. You'll have Jack Longston, Owen Bradshaw, and Dylan Horn. He's taking a seat for the Cougars will be McCready, Toms, and Blainton. 3.49 left in quarter number three. Grayson on top, 50 to 27. Far side, Rogers tries to get it inside to Carmen. Does. Carmen's double team to the left block goes up. It is blocked by Bratcher on the inside. And the rebound is chased down by Childress for the Cougars. Childress up the near side of the floor. Will slow down at the left side. Now speeds up at the free throw line. Kicks it to the far corner. Sharp three up, and it is good. Sharp with his third three of the quarter. Fourth of the game, and Grayson leads 53-27. Five, or three minutes and 23 seconds left here in quarter number three. Far side, a transition three to answer by Miller. Is no good, and a foul on the rebounds called on Jack Longston. Carmen came down with it, and Longston made just ever so slight of contact with the backside of Carmen. For Longston, that is his second, team's third. He'll be passing in underneath by O'Donohue. O'Donohue gets it back after being handed it off by Carmen. And he shoots a three and it is off to the left side into the hands of Longston for Grayson. He hands it off to his senior guard, Sharp. Sharp to the left wing to Childress. Childress drives in, shot from the left elbow, can't get the roll, Horn rebound, put up. And he's fouled on the putback attempt and free throws will come. It's called on Brandon Carmen. His first and the team's second of the second half. To the free throw line will be Dylan Horn. He is a 56.2% free throw shooter. He will shoot two. The free throw is up and it is in and out for Dylan Horn. That one looked good, but it was kind of a line drive free throw and because of that, it kind of went into the rim, kind of a weird spot. Second free throw by Horn, it is up, and he misses them both. The long rebound is chased down by Longston. Longston floater is left short, and that rebound's tapped out, and run down long in the corner to Horn. Horn out front to Sharp, another three, straight away, count it! Keegan Sharp feeling it here in quarter number three, four threes in the quarter, and Grayson County now is gonna be whistled for a foul on the far side on defense, but the Cougars are rolling in quarter number three. Horn picks up a foul, his second, team's fourth. That puts now Keegan Sharp nine threes away from the school record. 2.43 left in quarter number three. O'Donohue gets it into the backcourt to Rogers. Rogers gonna set up the offense. Slowly crosses the timeline at the logo, gets a screen. Switches off on defense, it went to Brancher, but Keegan Sharp got through the screen quick and immediately got back into the hands of Roger. Turnaround jumper from the free throw line by Miller. Is no good, Childress gets a rebound. Childress up the near side of the floor, off to the right wing, Sharp, another three, it is up and it is no good. And the long rebound chased down in the near corner by Horn. Horn to Childress, drives in, shot on the right side, is fouled by Carmen, and free throws will come. The Cougar faithful are loving this game right now. Jeff LaGrange wanted a foul on Owen Brancher on the near side and the official Lauren Frazier went over to explain to him what he saw and now Lauren Frazier is coming over to talk to Dylan Horn and to Carmen and 
I think Dylan Horn was asking what he was being talked to about. You'll have free throws coming. Foul was called on Carmen, his second. Free throws coming for Braden Childress, 54.5% on the season. First one is up, and it is good for Braden Childress. Keegan Sharp has four threes in this third quarter. He's got himself now 17 points. Darius Tongue was going to check in, but he's going to check in for Braden Childress. Breckenridge County does go to the bench and send in Jonah Miller. So you have Jonah Miller and Colton Miller on the floor for Grayson County. Free throw up coming from Childress is good. Braden Childress makes the free throw. And a whistle is blown as Darius Tongue will come into the game for Braden Childress. 56 or 58 27. 213 left here in the third quarter. Grayson County leads Breckenridge County. Cougars are rolling here in this game. Out front, Rogers nearly lost his dribble. Gives it to the left wing to Colton Miller. Colton Miller picked up by Logston. Miller between the legs dribble, gives it to the left wing to Hart. Hart into the far corner to Rogers. Rogers back out front to Colton Miller. 150 to go in the third quarter to the right elbow to Jonah Miller. Jonah Miller handoff pass to Colton Miller. Down the right side, dumps it off to the left block. Layup good for Carmen on the left side. And here comes Grayson County. Keegan Sharp speeds up down the far side, runs into contact, and an offensive foul is going to be called on Keegan Sharp. Jack Logston let a three go from straight away. And Keegan Sharp picks up his third foul of the game in the team's fifth. 135 left here in the third quarter. Grayson County leads Breckenridge County 56-29. Colton Miller going to slowly cross the timeline for Breckenridge County. Picks up his dribble to the right side to Rogers. Rogers back out front to Carmen, who swings it over the left wing to Colton Miller. Guarded by Tongue. If 21 on 21. Out front, three, Hart up in for the senior, Isaiah Hart. Breckenridge County trying to do whatever they can to stay in this game. It is 58-32, though the Cougars still rolling with 60 seconds left in quarter number three. Out front to Sharp. Cougars going a five-out offense. Sharp down the left side, loses the ball and throws a shot up, and a walk is going to be called on Keegan Sharp. Travis Johnston said that he was dribbling, or he was losing control of the ball. That's what he said to Sean Williams, the official, and then Sean Williams, the official, disagreed with Travis Johnston's interpretation of what Keegan Sharp did there. 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. To the right side, three up by Jonah Miller. It is long into the hands of Bratcher. Bratcher gives it down to the near side to Tongue. And Tongue will give it into the middle to Keegan Sharp. 38 seconds left here in the third quarter. It is 58-32, Grayson County. Leads Breckenridge County to the left elbow to Hornbeck. Hornbeck dumps it off to the far side to Bratcher. Bratcher spins, and an offensive foul is going to be called on Owen Bratcher on the inside. For Bratcher, that's his first, team sixth. Chandler McCready going to come into the game for Keegan Sharp. Keegan Sharp going to take a seat. He deserves this rest. Travis Johnston talking with official Lauren Frazier on the far side. And whatever the explanation Travis Johnston got from Frazier, he did not agree with. But we're playing on. It is Tiger Ball, 23 seconds and counting. Rogers drives in. Floater inside the free throw line is no good. Walston comes down with it for Grayson. Logson's going to slow down, and Travis Johnston holds up both hands in the air and says, let's slow down and hold for the final shot. Tongue on the left side with 10 seconds. Tongue spins around, gets it out front to McCready with 6 seconds. Grayson County's got to get a shot off Logston with 4 seconds. They don't realize how much time's on the clock, 2 seconds. Logston drives down, throws a shot up, and a foul is called. Are they going to give the – I don't think that the foul should count. If it's up to me, it should not, but the officials are going to talk this one over. Are they going to say no foul, and I think that's the right call. The end of the third quarter, it is 58 for Grayson, 32 for Breckenridge County. This is Cougar basketball right here on Litchfield's Country Station, 103.9 The Moose. Until every case is filed, argued, and won. Until people come before profit. Until the wild is truly free. Until our power comes clean and all power is held accountable. As a national legal nonprofit, no one fights more cases for the environment than Earth Justice. Until justice stands for all, we will never rest.
Here it is. Look how cheap it is. Be careful what you buy online. Counterfeit products are illegal and can cause damage to you, your property, and your wallet. It looks real, but I don't have a good feeling about this. No, uh, get out! Get go, out! Go. Fakes cause real harm. Real products are tested for safety. Protect yourself. You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Go for real. Go for real. Grayson County leads this one 58 to 32 as we start quarter number four here from Breckenridge County High School. Keegan Sharp leads the way with 17 points for Grayson County. It is going to be Breckenridge County ball to start quarter number four. Grayson on top, 58 to 32. It's been a great game here for Grayson County. They've just been playing extremely well and say there was a little bit of some hesitation to start this quarter. I think the officials had to make sure that they were all in the same spot. On the right side, Rogers drives down inside the free throw line, picks up his dribble to the left side, driving in, splitting defenders, blocked on the inside by Bratcher, but a foul is going to be called on Grayson County's Owen Bratcher. Foul, oh, actually, correction, it's called on Logston. For Logston, that is his third. Team's seventh. Free throws will come here for Miller, and that first one is way off to the left by Colton Miller. Colton Miller leads the team at 81.5% and misses them both. And a foul on the rebound is going to be called. And it'll be interesting to see who they call this on. Bratcher and the Breckenridge County defender were tied up. And Trevino Kelly is talking to the official, talking to an assistant coach right now for Breckenridge County, probably saying, hey, he's, he's had enough. Owen Bratcher has called for the foul on the rebound. And I think Travis Johnson wants an explanation now. For Bratcher, that's his second foul. Team's eighth. And that'll turn into free throws now for Braden Carmen. Braden Carmen will shoot one of the bonus. The free throw is up, and it is good on the roll for Braden Carmen. Braden Carmen's second free throw comes. It is up and it is no good off to the right. Rebound on the floor by Bratcher for Grayson County. So we rejoin our radio broadcast. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. A foul was called on Owen Bratcher, and one of two from the free throw line was Carmen. It is Grayson County basketball. Driving downhill is McCrady. Gets around the defender. The shot is no good, but free throws will come. And some technical a technical foul is going to be whistled on Breckenridge County as Jonah Miller got into the face of Chandler McCrady after the play. And Miller is going to get a technical foul. Jonah Miller said something or kicked something or what? Chase Hardesty is going to be called for a foul. His third. Tech Ooh, to offsetting technicals. Chandler McCready is also called for a technical foul. Something must have happened there between those two teams, between those two players. So McCready picks up a technical. And Jonah Miller picks up a technical. I saw something weird happen there after the play. And the two players got tied up or something. It was kind of a weird play. They're talking this over right now, and it's hard for us to really tell. It is So that'll be kind of offsetting technicals. McCready's going to get two free throws, though, based on the foul by Hardesty on his drive. He's going to shoot two. The first one is up, and it is no good off to the back of the iron. The second free throw, Childress, or rather for McCready, is no good. Rebounded by Blanton, and he is shoved out of bounds underneath by Breckenridge County. Foul called on Brockman. That is his first. Team's fourth. It's going to stay Grayson County ball underneath. Braden Childress will re-enter the game. 
And Owen Brancher will take a seat. Seven minutes and 31 seconds left in quarter number four. It is 58-33. Grayson County leads. It'll be Blainson to pass in for Grayson underneath. Blainson to the left wing to Toms. Toms inside now to Brantu. Blainson who spins around and is fouled by Hardesty underneath. For Hardesty, that'll be his fourth. Team's fifth, and River Blainson will go to the free throw line. He will now shoot free throws. It's going to turn into a little bit of a free throw shooting contest. Blainson will shoot two. The free throw is up and no good off to the left by River Blainson. Second free throw coming for the junior guard. River Blainson is no good. He misses them both. And a rebound by Toms on the floor for Grayson. And a foul is called on the floor now on Breckenridge County. And the fouls are adding up here. For Hunter Toms, that is his second rebound of the game. And I didn't see who the foul was called on. And right now, one of the officials is telling Jeff LaGrange he's heard enough. And that's called on Hardesty. That's his fifth. Chase Hardesty will foul out of this game with zero points. Jeff LaGrange is talking with the official right now, giving his side of the story. It'll be Toms to the free throw line to shoot two. And Grayson County could not have started this game any better from the free throw line. And now they've gone back to their old ways here in quarter number four. Toms to the line. He will shoot one of the bonus, I guess. And the free throw is no good off to the left. And a rebound on the floor is a walk. And down on the play and slow to get up for Breckenridge County after the play. Mercer Rogers is talking with the officials underneath and luckily getting up is Carmen. He's okay. This game's getting a little hot here for being a 25-point difference. River Blainton to pass in for Grayson. The Cougars are going to get another chance here. Blainton's got to get it in. Passes into the left block or the left wing rather to Toms. Toms out front. Going to back things up, and we're going to go five-out offense for Grayson. McCready drives in at the free-throw line, picks up his dribble, fires over to the far side to Blainton. Blainton gets around the defender, drives far baseline, blocked from behind, and fouled by Breckenridge County. The Breckenridge County faithful do not like it whatsoever. The foul's called on Braden Carmen. That is his third, and the team's sixth. And both of these fan bases are getting into it. It's about as loud as a 25-point game as you're going to ever see. Blaine's into the free throw line. The Cougars have missed five straight here in this fourth quarter. Free throw up and good. That ends the streak. And we have a timeout on the floor taken by Breckenridge County. It is 59-33, 7.05 to go in the fourth quarter. This is Cougar basketball on 103.9, the Moose. How is my little birdie kin's feeling? Well, I feel okay. Uh, my wing hurts a little bit, but that's okay. I made the decision to get Big Bird vaccinated because COVID vaccines are the best way to keep yourself, our friends and neighbors, and me safe and healthy. And it'll help me keep playing with my granny bird and all my friends at school. Yeah. It's okay to have questions about COVID vaccines for your kids. Get the latest facts by speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. Jeff LaGrange wants a timeout, probably more just to say, hey, let's all take a deep breath and kind of let's reconvene. This, this game's definitely getting hot right now as River Blainton is going to have a free throw coming out of the timeouts. It's been a uh, hectic game, there's no doubt, between Grayson County and Breckenridge County here tonight from Breckenridge County High School. Trevino Kelly talking to assistant coach Gerald Meredith right now for Grayson County. And also talking to Hunter Toms' mom, Serena. Sean Williams, during the timeout, is talking with a member of the Bre either it's the Breckenridge County Sheriff's Office or maybe the Hardensburg Police Department. Not sure if that was just a hey, how you doing, or if there was something that uh, Sean Williams wanted to tell him about maybe a fan that's getting too unruly. Blankton's second free throw is no good. Toms with a rebound, but a foul is going to wave off the rebounds. Foul called on Carmen. Carmen will pick up the foul. That is his fourth. 
That is the team's ninth. Both teams have nine team fouls called. It'll be McCready to the line. The first free throw is good. Grayson County has now been to the free throw line. This will be their ninth shot taken. Right now they're two of eight though from the free throw line here in this fourth quarter. Free throw by McCready is short. Rebound on the floor is finally taken down by Tom, by Breckenridge County rather on the far side. An outlet pass to Tall. Tall nearly lost the ball at the free throw line. Gains it back. Bounce pass to the far corner. Miller, three up. No good short. Rebounded by Tall. Tall with the right hand. The floater from five feet is good for Lane Tall. Tall's got six. Grayson County, though, does lead 60 to 35. Again, when Grayson County crosses 60 points in the Travis Johnson era, they are 28 and two. Their two losses have come in overtime to McLean County and Owensboro. Three left wing is an air ball by Braden Childress, and the rebound goes off the hands of, uh, of River Blanton. 6.29 to go here in the fourth quarter. 60-35, Cougs on top. It's one of these games where you just want to make sure on both sides that nobody gets hurt. I mean, it, it, a comeback is, is not likely as an interior pass is kicked back by Toms. Is there's a lot of energy in this building. It's a very physical game. You just don't want anybody to get hurt. Especially because both these teams, I mean, heck, these two teams could meet back in a couple of weeks at the Owensboro Sports Center in the third region tournament. Right side, Rogers, or rather that is Miller, Colton Miller. On the left wing, guarded by Childress. Out front to Tall, Tall on McCready. Tall spins around down the lane. Now lit a 10-foot floater on the right side, fly. And Lane Tall finds the bottom of the net. It is 60 to 37. It's a 23-point game. Under six minutes to play in the fourth quarter. And the last thing you want to do if you're Grayson County is start doing something silly and allow Breckenridge County to come back in this game. Down, dumping down to the right block to, to Blanton. The interior pass is knocked out of bounds by Colton Miller. 546 left in quarter number four. Childress to pass in from underneath of the basket for Grayson County. A lot of energy in this building tonight. Childress has got to get it in. Bounce pass to the left block to Blanton. It's knocked out of bounds by Blanton underneath. Blanton and Tall were both going for it. I think that's the right call by the official to say that that was off of Grayson County. 544 left here in the fourth quarter. Grayson County leads 60 to 37 against Breckenridge County. The Cougars trying to snap a back-to-back -back losing streak against Butler County and Edmondson County. Out front to Miller, guarded by Childress. Man-to-man -man defense for Grayson County. Down the left side, driving in, kicking over to the far corner. A 18-foot jump shot by Brockman is run down and out of bounds. The rebound goes off the hands of River Blanton as he dives into the bench and he's caught by Jeff Lagrange. That coach and LaGrange immediately pats him on the back. Jack Longston will check in for Grayson County. And checking out will be Chandler McCready. Five eighteen to play in the fourth quarter. It is 60 to 37. Grayson County leads this to the right elbow to, to, to uh, Carmen, who walks with it on the right side. He had to jump high up to grab that one. When he landed, he took the extra step, and he looked back and kind of asked his coach, Jeff LaGrange, did I do that? And LaGrange said, yes. Yes, you did. 5.07 left in quarter number four. Childress down the far side for Grayson. Holds up the stop sign. Gives it to Longston on the far side, who swings it into the near corner to Blanton. Blanton back to Sharp. Sharp back to Blanton in the near corner. Blanton got to slow down and just dribble with the right hand. Blanton now drives down to the free throw line, kicks it off to Longston. Right wing three up, and it is no good. Might have touched part of the rim. Rebound saved inbounds into the hands of Longston to Childress on the left side. Childress out front, gets around the defender, drives in, free throw line down to the left side to Toms, and Toms is fouled underneath by Breckenridge County. Mercer Rogers, who might be called for the foul, definitely did not agree with it. He's talking now to the official Trevino Kelly. For Rogers, that's his second. Two free throws will come again here for Hunter Toms. And free throws for the first three quarters for Grayson County. It's nothing short of pretty much spectacular. And Toms misses that one, but this fourth quarter has been, I mean, the only way to describe it, I think, is rather brutal. They are now two of 10 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. 
when in the first three quarters, they were 14 of 17. Thomas misses the second free throw. The rebound goes off of Brockman. So they were 14 of 17 in the first three quarters. And in this fourth quarter, Grayson County is now 2 of 11 from the free throw line. Left wing now into the corner. Sharp, a three is up, and it is off the front of the iron. No good. Rebounded by Breckenridge County. On the right side, Rogers picks up his dribble from straight away and gives it back now. Out front to Miller. 4.20 left here in tonight's game. It is Grayson, 60. Breckenridge County, 37. An interior pass almost stolen by Blainson, but some contact is made from behind. For Blainson, only be his second. But the team's 10th, and two free throws will now come for Shelton Smith. This point... I think they're going to have to start pulling our King 105 Digital Productions crew out and start making shoot free throws because that's what it feels like here. Shelton Smith misses the first free throw. Our director tonight, Cole Snyder, I know he he wouldn't miss. They don't, I heard they call him Kobe Bryant in uh, gym class. Second free throw is good. 60-38, to 38, Grayson County leads. On the right wing, Sharp out front to Toms, and Toms is fouled from behind by Miller and Trevino Kelly as Miller said something to the official and Kelly went up to Miller and said hey I, I kind of like I've heard enough both officials had the foul though and Miller that's his third and two free throws will come here again for Grayson County when again 14 of 17 on the, from the free throw line through the first three quarters and they miss another one here Grayson County <laughs> I mean this is unbelievable Second one coming for Toms. It is in and out, and the rebound on the floor is pulled down by Rogers. Grayson County struggling from the free throw line, and I mean they make their free throws. This game is is well over. Three by Tall straight away is in. Nothing but net for Lane Tall. Lane Tall. And just like that, it is 60 to 41. It's a 19 point game. 3:48 to play. We've seen crazier things in basketball. Five out look for Grayson County. Sharp in between the circles. Down the left side, poked away from behind, into the hands of Breckenridge County as Shelton Smith comes down with it. To the near side, Rogers pulls up a right wing three. It's good, and just like that, Breckenridge County brings this game to within 16. A timeout taken by Travis Johnston. He wants it to be a full timeout with 3.27 to go. We'll take it with him. Cougs on top, 60-44. to This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Connection, it's the name of the game in Grayson County Schools. Connection with students, with colleagues, with community, through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connections that teach, that encourage, that build confidence, that show together we can. Preparing students for life equipped with real and real world skills for success. Together we are GC Connected. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but it is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated no matter what your age. So listen to your heart See your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. Grayson County leads this one 60 to 44, three minutes and 27 seconds left in quarter number four. Sam Gormley with a call here on 1039 The Moose and also by K105 Digital Productions. It'll be Grayson County basketball out of the timeout by Travis Johnston. Cougars have led by as many as I think it was 29 in this game, but Fighting Tigers have brought it to within 16. Sharp in the backcourt for Grayson County. They'll break the timeline across the far side. It's a handoff pass to Longston. Longston straight away gives it to the near side to Childress. Childress with the right hand between the legs. Dribble five out look here for Grayson County. Down the right side, kicks it over the far corner to Toms. Toms jump pass back out front now to Childress. Childress down the right side, and a foul is called on Breckenridge County. It is called on Mercer Rogers. That is his third, and two free throws will come again for Grayson County. It'll 
It'll be Braden Childress's turn now to take free throws. He's two of two tonight. Free throw is up, and it is no good. Gregson County misses another free throw in this fourth quarter. Grace County has attempted 14 free throws in this fourth quarter. They have made two of them. Second one for Childress. It is no good. And the long rebound chased down by Toms. He'll hand it off to Blanton, and Blanton throws the ball away. Here comes Breckenridge County down the right side. Flip shot good by Miller on the right side. Colton Miller gives it. And Hunter Toms is now one rebound away from 500 for his career. To Keegan Sharp over to the far side to Toms. Toms will break the timeline to the right side to Blanton. Blanton drives down, loses his dribble, goes up with the right hand shot. It is no good. Rebound on the floor is ripped down by Breckenridge County's Mercer Rogers, and he's fouled by Logsdon. For Logsdon, that's his fourth. And guess what? More free throws come. I mean, Grayson County from the free throw line has made two free throws in this fourth quarter, and they have attempted 15. Two of 15 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Mercer Rogers will now go to the free throw line. He will shoot two. First one, no good. Our radio coverage will now rejoin us. We apologize for the technical difficulties. We have a second free throw coming from Mercer Rogers with 2.37 to go. It is 60 to 46. Grayson County leads Breckenridge County. The second free throw is good. For Rogers, it is a 60 to 47 game. Grayson County just leads by 13 with 2.36 to go. Braden Childress is trapped. Gives it to Logston. Logston into the middle to Toms. Toms dumps it off to the right side to Blanton. Layup good for River Blanton. It's Grayson County's first shot from the field in the fourth quarter. They had missed so many free throws over to the far side. Driving in is Miller. Jonah Miller's floater from the left side is no good. Logston comes down with it for Grayson. Logs into Keegan Sharp with 2.12 to play. Down to Toms. Toms off the left side. The floater good at the rim for Toms. Grayson County expands on that lead. 64-47. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Out front to Tall. Tall drives down. Ten-foot floater left side. The bank is open for Lane Tall. Tall's had himself a good fourth quarter. And now inbounds pass nearly taken away. An outlet down to the right side to Longston, who smartly holds up. They're going to make Breckenridge County foul, and that's exactly what they do, and they'll send Jack Longston to the free throw line. And the foul's called on Jonah Miller, his second. Into the line will be Jack Longston. He's 6 of 6 from the free throw line in this game, but again, Grayson County in the fourth quarter, 2 of 15. Logston to the line. It's good. Grayson County makes a free throw. Carmen will come in. And O'Donohue will come in for Breckenridge County. And whistle blown. And they're going to bring in one more player. It is going to be number three, Leland Bourne. It's his first minutes of the game here. Jack Logston to the line to shoot one more. Second free throw is in and out. Logston misses the second free throw. He's got nine points in this game, one off of his career high. O'Donohue, left wing three in transition. It clanks off the back of the iron, and the rebound is out of bounds off of Breckenridge County with 1.29 to go. 65-49, Darius Tongue will re-enter the game. Jack Logston will come out. And Logston took a seat, and no, at first they're calling for Keegan Sharp to come out and Logston to stay in the game. Darius Tongue came in for the wrong player. 129 to go. Grayson County 65-49. Logston trapped in the far side. Needs to find help and throws it away nearly. But Toms, like a strong wide receiver he is, grabs the ball. And Toms will now go back to the free throw line. Foul cold on. I believe it was on 11. Jonah Miller. The official Sean Williams making his way over. Did he ever give it to us? I believe he did. I guess he did it when I wasn't looking. It is on Miller that is his third. Tom's to the line to shoot two. He's 0 of 5 in the fourth quarter. Free throw is up, and it is good for Hunter Toms. Second one coming for Toms. It is up, and it is no good off the back of the iron. Longston with a rebound for Grayson. Longston out front to Childress. 
And Grayson County has the ball, 66-49. They lead 117 to go in the fourth quarter. Tongue straight away. Gives to the left wing to Logston. Logston drives down the left side and smartly just backs things up and throws it away, taken away, down the right side. The layup is good by Hart. They sped him up. Childress down to Logston. Logston down the near side of the floor. He is double teamed. They throw it into the middle to Childress. Childress swings it to Tongue in the far corner. Tongue out front to Childress. 52 seconds to play. Childress at the free throw line. To the far side to Hornbeck. Hornbeck to the right side to Tongue, who is fouled by O'Donohue. O'Donohue, that's only his first foul. Tongue to the free throw line. This season he has not attempted a free throw and he misses the first one. Hunter Tom's going to check out of this game, so you would presume that the his streak of his, his 500 rebounds will have to wait until Friday night against Whitesville Trinity and the second free throw is no good, but the rebound's knocked out of bounds by Breckenridge County. No, they're going to change the call and say it's Grayson, or it's off of Grayson County. And Travis Johnson going to go to the bench, and he's going to bring in Brady Bishop. Now, Bishop is the sophomore guard, standing 5'8". Braden Childress is going to take a seat. And coming in here, down the right side goes a flip shot. It is long into the hands of Tongue. 66-51, Tongue throws it away, but it goes into the hands of Hornbeck. Hornbeck into the middle to Longston. Longston straight away is just going to be chased backwards, and a no whistle on the foul. Gives it over the right side to Tongue. Tongue back to Longston. Longston down the right side, tries to find Hayden Robinson, who also came into the game. The pass was a little long, and the ball goes back to Breckenridge County. 66-51, 23.7 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. I'm sure Grayson County's never going to love to get out of here with a win any more than tonight. Out front, now over to the left wing. To the new player, it is Leland Board into the game. A three off the screen for O'Donohue, just hits the front of the rim and on the floor. Hornbeck gets the uh, rebound and he's, guess what? Fouled. Another foul will come and more free throws will come. It's called on Braden Carmen. He'll foul out of this game with five points. More free throws will come here for Grayson Kenny. We'll have more subs in. Lucas Pierce will come in for Grayson County, probably for Jack Logston. Nolan Hornbeck will get his chance for free throws. Hornbeck is one of two from the free throw line this season, and it is no good. Travis Johnson goes and sits down on the far left-hand side of the bench. Jack Logston's going to come out. Lucas Pierce will come into the game for him. Second free throw, good! Hornbeck makes the second free throw. And also into the game for Grayson County is number 20, Martin, for Grayson County. On the left wing, six seconds to play. A deep three from the left wing is off to the left and no good by a number 20 for Breckenridge County, who I don't have on my roster. And the rebound goes out of bounds off of Grayson County. 1.7 seconds on the clock. Cougars are going to win this one. And a win is a win is a win. And a three from the near corner at the buzzer is no good. Grayson County comes away with a win. 67-51 to tonight against Breckenridge County. We'll come back and jump into the fifth quarter show after this. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. How is my little birdie kin's feeling? Well, I feel okay. My wing hurts a little bit. But that's okay. I made the decision to get Big Bird vaccinated because COVID vaccines are the best way to keep yourself, our friends and neighbors, and me safe and healthy. And it'll help me keep playing with my granny bird and all my friends at school. Yeah. It's okay to have questions about COVID vaccines for your kids. Get the latest facts by speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. Connection, it's the name of the game in Grayson County Schools. Connection with students, with colleagues, with community, through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connections that teach, that encourage, 
that build confidence, that show together we can, preparing students for life equipped with real and real world skills for success. Together, we are GC Connected. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but it is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. Hi, I'm Janine Lucas with Wilson Muir Bank. Our focus is on building communities, and in many of our markets, agriculture is at heart of those communities. We are proud to partner with local farmers and value your role in Kentucky and globally. Our commitment runs deep because we understand your passion for farming. Many of us are farmers ourselves. Whether farming is your pastime or your livelihood, invite us to your operation or stop by our offices and let us know how Wilson Muir Bank can help you grow. Together, we build community. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS, or Three, I'm going to beat cancer. I'm going to beat it. That's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to win this battle. Defeating cancer will take all of us. At the V Foundation, V is for victory over cancer. V is for victory over the odds. V is for victory over giving up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Join our team to help save lives. 100% of donations fund game-changing cancer research. Donate now at V.org. Three. Charlie, you're going to be four. late. Charlie. Charlie. Huh? Hey. <laughs> hey, Invisitor. Slow at work. We can't live like this. Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School where it is a winning night for the Grayson County Cougars against Breckenridge County by a final score of 67 to 51. Keegan Sharp Leads the Cougars in scoring with 17 points, five three-pointers. He's now nine threes away from tying the career three mark for Grayson County High School. By our count, our unofficial counts, we only had uh, Keegan. We only had Hunter Toms with three rebounds, which puts him at 499 for his career. We will try and bring you an updated total on that, though, when Coach Johnston comes and see if Hunter Toms did get his. 500th career rebound tonight, but by our count, he only finished with three rebounds tonight, which leaves him just one short. This is one of these games for Grayson County that, you know what? You got one of these, a big old W, and, and really, that is all that matters. You got a win, and that's all that matters if you're Grayson County, is, is they needed a win in the worst kind of way, and that's exactly what they got here tonight, and it probably hasn't felt better than that in quite some time. Coming up on our fifth quarter show, we will run down the scores from around the region, the scores from this game, and get you ready for the rest of the week. And, of course, also talk to the head coach of the Cougars, Travis Johnston. It comes up in more right here on the, on the fifth quarter show on Litchfield's Country Station, 103.9 The Moose. Hi. Can I help you? I just wanted to say thank you. Bye. Um, can I help you? Yeah, just wanted to say thanks. For what? For all the money that's been flying out of your drafty windows and doors this winter. It's just so generous of you. So, we wanted to say thanks. We? Yeah, the whole neighborhood's here. Thank you. Stop throwing your money out the window. Visit us at Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. We know windows and doors. The builder's choice. The life of every child is precious. If you care for a child or teenager with a disability and have limited income and resources, they may qualify for monthly cash payments through the Supplemental Security Income Program, or SSI. Call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213 or visit ssa.gov slash ssikids to learn more. That's ssa.gov slash ssikids. Message produced by Social Security at U.S. taxpayer expense. 
When caring for a family member, their state of health is continually on your mind. And when they're faced with a health concern, you'll do just about anything to make them feel better. Rest assured, their feel better starts right here at Midway Pharmacy. We take our time to get to know all about your family's health history so we can provide you with educated advice. So when someone's counting on you to help them maintain a healthy lifestyle or to overcome that untimely sickness, remember, at Midway Pharmacy. Hey, boss. Okay. He said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Yeah. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. It's the always saying it's always good to come away a winner, and that's exactly what Grayson County does tonight on the road at Breckenridge County High School by a final score of 67 to 51. Run down a quick score to Ohio County defeats Butler County 80 to 63. And Bowling Green gets by and comes back to defeat Owensboro 72-64. to And a final score, E-Town defeats LaRue County 59-48. to Those are some of the finals that I see here. And a final score, North Laurel pulls away and defeats Pulaski County 82-54. to That is a final score tonight. Massive win for North Laurel. Pulaski County undefeated no more. 23-1. Still a great season for the Maroons and Still a team. I mean, when we saw them play here a couple of a uh, couple of weeks ago, that is definitely one of the best high school basketball teams I've seen in quite some time. And I would not want to draw them if if I was any team in the Sweet 16. And I know that their region is really tough. We'll take a break. Talk to Coach Johnston after this. It's Cougar basketball on the Moose. And someone says you need a bone marrow transplant. Those are just not words you want to hear. I got a call that it was the best match. It was one of the best days of my life. I'm so happy that you're okay. I just want to say thank you for the second chance at life. Thousands of patients need a donor like you. Learn how you can help at bethematch.org. Uncle Sam? You just turned 18, right? It's time to register at sss.gov. Excuse me? It only takes a minute, and it makes you eligible for student aid and millions of federal jobs. Plus, well, it's every man's responsibility. What do you say? OK, I'll do it. <laughs> Here's my quill. Um, I'll just use my phone. SSS.gov, right? No. Be the man. Register with the Selective Service System today at sss.gov. It's constant, continuous, and contagious. Invigorating, inspiring, unrelenting, undeniable. At the National Park Foundation, we call this feeling wonder. And the only thing more unstoppable is our mission to help it thrive. We the people are guaranteed five freedoms in the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Freedom of the press. Freedom to peaceably assemble. Freedom to petition the government. Only the United States has these five freedoms so simply bound together and guaranteed. Think first. Learn more at thinkfirstamendment.org. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School where the Grayson County Cougars are winners tonight by a final score of 67-51. to I'm joined now by the head coach of the Cougars, head coach Travis Johnston. And, and coach, um, there's a lot to unpack on a game like this. Um, but I think the thing that we talked about and have talked a lot about over these past couple of weeks was, was free throws. And through the first three quarters, I think I described it as how I was feeling after the Bengals made the Super Bowl. I was about ready to do flips and excited 14 of 17. 
And in the fourth quarter, five of 23, was that just fatigue or was that kind of reverting back to old ways or, or how do you look into the free throw? I'll be honest, uh, I do think that some of it was fatigue. Uh, we shot 40 free throws and we should have shot about 15 more. Um, it turned into a football game, which it does a lot um, sometimes here. And uh, like I said, we could have shot a, a lot more. What we needed, what you know, River six for ten on average. That's probably where he's at. Uh, I mean, six for ten, then he goes seven for ten. His next one, that's sixty-five percent or something like that. Uh, he was seventy-six last year, I think, right? Yeah, and, and honestly, he's probably about sixty-five to sixty-eight percent shooter. So that's that's pretty normal. Darius ain't used to shooting them out there. Uh, probably a little bit nervous. Um, his first career varsity free throws. Yeah, Dylan, uh, he's still a little banged up in his ribs. I probably shouldn't have played him tonight, but um, he gave us good minutes, though. And uh, You know, Hunter, I, I really do think Hunter's was a little bit fatigued, not to make excuses for him, um, but, I, I mean, he was going so hard, and he was getting, getting grabbed and clawed, and he played most of that fourth quarter. Um, Chandler's got to get a little bit better at him. Nolan's not used to shooting him. Braden two for four, then he goes three for four the next game. That'd be fine. But uh, what we need to start doing is getting our our two best free throw shooters to shoot them, which is Jack and uh, which is Jack and Keegan. Uh, Keegan didn't shoot any tonight, but uh, Jack I think was seven for eight, so that that was good. It I was very pleased. The fourth quarter is one of those things where you you almost throw it out. You don't completely, but you almost throw it out. Just how wild and crazy it was getting and. Um, you know, even the refs were getting a little bit tired of having to call all the fouls, so they didn't call all of them. But uh, I'm really proud with overall how our team played. First quarter, you scored 23 points, which by my count ties for the most you've scored this season. And now I, I should have written down which one, which quarter it was. You might know off the top of your head, but yeah, it was. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably the most. Nelson County. <laughs> it was tied for the most. Uh, Nelson County was the last time you scored 23 points in a quarter. Um, and then you scored 40 in the first half, which was tied for the second most that you scored. Uh, you scored Rock up. Castle, maybe. You're right. Yeah. Um, that first half, though, I'm sure you're probably saying, guys, can we just replicate that? I mean, because you play that way, you're going to be a lot of teams. Yeah, and our, our pressure really bothered them, and we we did our contain in our pressure really, really good. We weren't really getting beat. Now, our recover was where we were getting beat kind of on, on the threes where we were trying to match up. Uh, but a lot of times when we run our press, we try to get it in the front, in the front court, and we were allowing it to, for them to throw back and forth, back and forth, and then we were getting it in the, in the, on this side of half court, and uh, which is what we want to do with our traps. We were rotating really good and cutting it off and trapping hard, um, and obviously that led to some buckets. Got it going a little bit. I'm not sure we'll be able to do that to every team, um, but it was nice to get uh, going and get a lot of guys. Um, getting a lot of guys some shots like that. I thought this is one of better Jack's better games yeah, uh, yeah, of the season. Yeah. He came away with nine points in the first half. He was he was unbelievable. And I mean, it starts with going six six from the free throw line. Yeah. Good things happen when you do that. Yeah, and and th that's that's the easiest way to get point. Now he pulled up for a three and got fouled. Made all three. Uh, got an and one. He he had eight rebounds on our count and um, had a couple turnovers there. But again. Probably probably got fouled on a couple, and he is 12. So, um, I was he played great. Um, it helps when you got a guy up there that you you trust pretty good, and his the one free throw he missed rolled in and out. So, um, I was very proud with Jack. Um, this isn't an easy place to play, um, no matter what kind of team they have, and and, and he proved that uh, he can play in in games like that. That third quarter for Keegan was vintage Keegan. I think you've been kind of waiting to see it. Not that he's played bad this season by any means, but we haven't seen really many of those runs that he would get on at times last year where it was just like, I don't care if he has five guys on him, get him the ball and it's going in. And in that fourth quarter, he hit four threes. And I think it might have been, what, four of five, four of six during that little stretch mm -hmm. that he hit. If he can start getting into that role, that does so much to your offense. Doesn't oh yeah, it opens it opens up a lot of stuff for especially for Hunter and River and and Chandler to drive and even Braden tonight. Braden uh, played played really really well driving the ball and shooting his mid range shot. Uh, but but with Keegan, I, 
he made his shots tonight, but I'm, that may be the mo one of the most proud I've been of a kid. He came in this morning. Of course, obviously, we had a little powwow after our game last night and um, talked about some things the team did. And, and Keegan came in early in the morning uh, talking to me, sat in the office, uh, talked about what we could do, what we could tweak, change, things like that. And, uh, you know, we've been harping on them hard for not gathering the information and paying attention to the scouting report. And I'll be honest, it was the shortest scouting report I wrote down. I didn't go over it with them. I laid it on a chair. I said, pick it up, go get food. You need to know it. And I'm not so sure I saw that scouting report leave his hand until he came out here. And he was talking on the floor. Uh, he really, really stepped up and, and was a leader tonight. And I'm really proud of him for that. And uh, hopefully, even if the threes don't come, which is it's, it's easy when things go well to do that stuff. So when he has a, a little bit of a rough game, if he can still do that stuff, he provides so much for our team. When the threes don't come, that sounds like somebody that's afraid of his record getting broken, right? <laughs> <laughs> he better get it. <laughs> uh, coming up on Friday, you have a game against Whitesville Trinity. I know today I, I went through and I did all the math of if this happens, if mm -hmm. that happens, mm -hmm. who you play and all that. A uh, little to say, it, it, it's huge. Yep. It's, it's a huge game. There, there's no other way to put it than that. Um, they beat you by one point at their place. Um, Huff, right, really good player. Yep. Hernandez, good guard. He can shoot. Uh, and then they got uh, right, 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 the big kid mm -hmm. down low. It's a good team. You know that they're going to be fired up for you as well because they win that one, they can get the number one seed. Yep. yep. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios in, in the district standings. You can, we could all four be tied after Monday, I think, too. So Correct. Uh, one of those scenarios yeah. has that. <laughs> but regardless of district standings, we – should be looking forward to that game. Um, not that they didn't play very, not that they didn't play good down there, but I thought that we did some things to kind of give it away a little bit. Uh, but but and that may be that's credit to them too. But um, it's a tough place to play too. It, it is, and w but we should we should be ready. We should be motivated for that game no matter what. Um, it's homecoming. Should be a really good crowd. Um, and then, obviously, you add the fact that it's a district game. If we come out and play like we did tonight and play as hard as we did and, and flying around and sharing the ball like we did, then I think we'll be in a good position. Coach, we'll see you then. Thanks. That's head coach Travis Johnson. We'll have more here coming up after this. When someone says you need a bone marrow transplant, those are just not words you want to hear. I got a call that it was the best match. It was one of the best days of my life. I'm so happy that you're okay. I just want to say thank you for the second chance at life. Thousands of patients need a donor like you. Learn how you can help at bethematch.org. Get it, slip it, cuff it, check it. High blood pressure silently affects millions of Americans. Staying on top of your blood pressure is as simple as these four easy steps. Self-monitoring is power. Visit manageyourbp.org to learn more. Junior achievement is where dreams take flight. We are helping students connect what they learn in school to future work and career success. We are teaching them how to manage money to achieve financial security as adults. And we are showing them that starting a business also means changing lives and communities. However, we can't do it alone. Find out how you can help. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Remember the best planned 90 minutes of your life? Or that surprise party for your parents' golden anniversary? You get the gold in planning. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. 
Grayson County is a winner tonight here from uh, from Breckenridge County High School where the Cougars win 67 to 51 running down the scoring from this game first for the Fighting Tigers of Breckenridge County 13 points apiece for Isaiah Hart and for Lane Tall 12 for Mercer Rogers 5 each for Colton Miller and for Braden Carmen 3 for Shelton Smith for Grayson County, it was Keegan Sharp that led the way with 17 points, 13 points for River Blanton, 13 for Hunter Toms, 9 for Jack Longston, 8 for Braden Childress, 5 for Chandler McCready, 2 for Owen Bratcher, and 1 for Nolan Hornbeck. Uh, Grayson County from the free throw line that tonight through the first three quarters, 14 of 17. In the fourth quarter, 5 of 23 to go 19 of 40 from the free throw line in this game. Coming up the rest of the week here on K105 Digital Productions on Thursday, we'll be making the trip to Calhoun. The Lady Cougar basketball team will take on the Lady Cougars of McLean County. Second will be a 7.30 tip-off on our sister station, K105, and also via K105 Digital Productions. We'll be there for the call of that game, beginning at about 7.10 as Todd Johnston gets to go back to the place where his coaching career began. And then on Friday, it'll be a district doubleheader at home against Whitesville Trinity. Coverage will begin at 5.40 for that game doubleheader between the Lady Cougars and the Lady Raiders and the Cougars and the Raiders. That'll wrap up our coverage tonight. I want to thank the K105 Digital Productions crew for their hard work. Your, cam your camera operator was Alex Cook and your director was Cole Snyder. So on a night where the Grayson County Cougars pick up a 67-51 win against Breckenridge County, this is Sam Formally saying, so long everyone.